Hey Chalk Monsters, it's Kathy. Welcome back to the boutique. I think I have got um, all of my technical difficulties figured out. I hope, I hope. Let's see, let's get this in my VIP group and then we are going to get started. Oh goodness, don't tell me that I can't put it in my VIP group. That's gonna make me really sad. Hmm. Maybe I can't. If I can't, I'm going to have to start. Oh, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Okay. I think I got it figured out. Start a watch party. Here we go. This should work, people. There we go. VIP group, here we come. Okay, I've got some music going. Let's go. This is gonna be a super fun project tonight. You guys, I hope you love it. It may take us a little bit of time. I have never um, used glitter before, but it is going to be super cool, okay? So we prepped our board first, and I'm gonna prop this up just so I can, um, in case I don't catch any comments. So this is um, just this board that I got from Lowe's, okay? And I prepped it this side with cream colored chalk paste. Okay, I'm gonna make sure, let's see if I can find my mother because she always wants to watch. And there we go. All right, she always wants to watch and she never knows when I'm going live. Okay, so this is our board. I just got this from Lowe's. You can see I painted this side with a cream colored chalk paste and this is the transfer that we are doing tonight this is called joyful christmas it's really big so i don't know if you can see all of it there we go so he is a super cute santa and we are going to add some glitter to his pom-pom i have never tried glitter before people so I'm kind of excited. I think this is going to be um, super, super fun. I'm excited to try glitter. And I just think, I think glitter goes with Christmas. Don't you think? I think glitter goes with Christmas. Tell, give me some thumbs up or some hearts if you think glitter goes with Christmas. Let me hear what you think about this. Okay, this is a layered transfer. So we are gonna have to make sure we dry him in between and we're gonna have to make sure we line him up correctly. But that's okay, we can do that because if you can see, there's a marker right here and there's a marker right here and there are some, on, there's none on the bottom, um, but our transfer is numbered, so this has you can see that it has the number two right there, okay? And then this one, so it has the markers, and I'll show you how we're gonna use those. But it has a number one down here, and this means that we do one first, right? Makes sense? Easy peasy. So I'm just cutting this down here below with my transfer trimmers, okay? and just cut joyful christmas off because we're going to use that separately all right and i'm getting santa ready okay i'm going to write on the back of santa i'm going to write santa number one on the back of this i'm going to write joyful 
Christmas. There we go. And I'm going to write Santa number two on here. And then this is going to be, do we have numbers on our holly? No. Okay. All right. Full holly. And then these are the berries. And this is the holly outline. I'll do those last. Okay. So I do that so that I know what is the front and the back of my backer sheet. And um, so if I've got several transfers that I'm using, I know which backer sheets go with which. Okay, so this is Santa that we're doing first. And I don't think I need to fuzz Santa because he's not going on a chalkboard. And the surface is not super sticky. So I think I can put him down just like this. And I'm wondering if I'm gonna have room to do Joyful Christmas at the bottom. Let's see if we do. I don't know, this may not be big enough. What do you guys think? Should we do Joyful Christmas at the bottom? I don't know if we're gonna have room. Would it be bad to layer Joyful Christmas over Santa? I think it would be. I think it's gonna to look too crowded. See, this is the picture in the catalog, but this frame, this is our Santa that I'm doing, but this frame is much longer Layered over his beard. You think so, Amber? We could do that. We could try that. All right. Amber says layered over his beard. You got it, Amber. That's what we're going to do. And if we hate it, we hate it. Okay. This, um, I probably cannot remove this. Um, our paste is water soluble and it's removable on both surfaces, but this is wood and I've I use chalk paint on top of the wood. That's what I prepped the surface with. So I bet I could not wash it off, but that is okay. Amber, I appreciate the advice and the perspective. Thank you very much. Okay, so I'm going to do white first because I'm gonna do his beard, I'm gonna do everything but his hat, right? This part of his hat in white. So I'm gonna do that first. All right, so let's open up our paste. So we want our paste to be yogurt-like consistency. If it's not, you can add a little bit of distilled water to it. But I think this is okay. I'm just moving my glitter over. Okay. All right, I think this is good. All right, so I'm gonna put this on. I'm kind of looking at the picture in the catalog too as I go, so I know what to do. Amber, what are you doing tonight? Are you chilling at home? Thanks for joining me. I see we have a couple of viewers on. Who else do we have? Do I see Stacy? It's hard for me to tell who is on until you say hello. So give me a shout out. Let me know who's here and what you're doing tonight. All right, so I'm making sure I've got enough paste everywhere where there's silk screen, okay? But I, um, 
I don't want to cover up the red part of his hat. So I'm making sure just hanging out. Well, thanks for hanging out with me, Amber. I appreciate it. Okay. So like I said, I'm making sure Hmm. I think that part is black. I cannot tell. Oh no, that part's red too. Okay. So I'm making sure that I do not get my paste. I may have to use my little mini tool. I think I will on these edges. Because I don't want to get any white where no. I don't want to get any white where it's supposed to be red I think this is all white too I haven't done a lot of layered transfers just because um, they just take a little bit longer and they're a little more complicated not really complicated, you just have to make sure you get them good and dry in between, if you know what I'm saying. Okay. All right, I think I got him covered. So remember guys, all of our excess goes right back in the jar, so there is no waste. And I'm just using my little multi-purpose tool here to get in these edges. There we go. Because I'm, I'm trying to get the white right up to the edge without getting it where the red is supposed to be. A little complicated up there. Okay, so now, I actually think I'm gonna use my big squeegee to get most of this off, because as you guys know, if you've seen me before, our paste can dry quickly So we gotta work quickly. Because once we start squeegeeing off all of our paste, it's going to start to dry. And if it dries in our silk screen, then it's going to look like we stuck our finger in it and smudged it. We certainly don't want that. Okay. You guys also want to make sure that when you put your transfers down, there are no bubbles. Bubbles are bad. Does anyone know where we like to have bubbles? Give me two places where bubbles are okay. Anybody know the answer to that question? I'll give you a second. Okay. All right, so I've got squeegeed up all of my white paste. Let us peel back. <gasps> Look at Santa! Oh my God! He is awesome! What do you guys think? First layer of Santa! Woohoo! Who loves him? Give me some hearts if you love Santa. Who doesn't love Santa? Who doesn't? Um, I meant to sprinkle. Let's see if this works. It may be too late. I maybe should have sprinkled. I'm gonna try this. I probably should have sprinkled my glitter a little bit sooner. Hello, Tiffany. 
Thanks for the hearts. Thanks for the hearts, you guys. All right, I probably should have sprinkled this glitter sooner before it starts to dry, but let's try it. Let's try it, my people. I mean, it's just chalk. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> so Amber, you think this looks soothing? I think so too, girl. It is, it is. Like, like I said, if we screw it up, it's just chalk. It is okay. All right, so let's see if this sticks. First time I've used glitter. I don't know. We'll see. Right? I've got my little water bath over here. Let me cover up my paste. Yes, I have never seen this. Well, welcome, Teresa. Welcome. This is called Chalk Couture. And we are a high-end home decor DIY company. Okay, I may have gotten, it may have stuck too well. I may have gotten too much glitter on his little pom-pom. What do you guys think? Is it too much glitter? I can, oh look, some of it will come off. All right, so, Teresa and anyone else who has not seen this before, we sell these silk screen transfers. Here's an example. I'll show you some more. Okay, he may have a little too much glitter on his pom-pom. You guys tell me what you think. Oh, I love the hearts. Let's see when it's finished. I'm a glitter girl. Me too, Amber. I am definitely a glitter girl. It might be okay. So um, these, this is an example of the silk screen transfer that we sell. We sell Chalkology paste that you see me using. It is water soluble, gluten free, non toxic, all natural. Okay. And we sell ink, which is permanent. So if you want to make some t shirts or um, what else? Metal ceramics, coffee mugs, anything like that that can go in um, the oven, like that can be heat set. That's what you'd use the ink for. And then we make all of these tools that I'm using here, like our squeegees and our stir sticks and our scissors, all of that. All right, you know what I'm gonna do before I put this guy on? I'm gonna hit this with the hair dryer and make sure he is completely dry. So bear with me just a second because when you're layering, that's like the key thing is you wanna make sure he's completely dry. Okay. So far, and you guys, I should have chopped the markers. I'll show you what I mean. I didn't, but I think it's going to be okay. Um, so there's a marker here, right here, and one right here. And those markers, if you chalk them, they help you line up your transfer for the next go around. I'm actually going to fuzz him. I'm going to fuzz this one because I don't want it to stick too much on my paste that I've already done on the white and I don't want it to pull it up. If it sticks too much, it'll pull it up. So I'm fuzzing it really quick on my fuzzing cloth and that just means I'm like putting it on the fuzzing cloth a couple times and pulling it back up again to, put some, to get some lint on it. 
Okay, there we go. Girls, I got glitter everywhere. Everywhere, love glitter. Okay, so I didn't chalk my, mar my markers, but that's okay, I'm a pro. I think I can line this up and it will be okay. Famous last words, right? Famous last words. Again, it's only chalk. If we mess it up, it's okay. I'm trying to figure out how I can tell if his beard is lined up the right way. There we go. I think this is right. It's kind of hard to tell since I didn't do the markers. I won't lie. I recommend chalking the markers. It will definitely help you line it up. But we're just going to go for it and see if we got it right. Alright, I think this is pretty good. Okay. So we want a little black on the white, I think according to the picture. Oh, you know what I didn't do? All right, here's what I'm gonna do. Because I didn't do, I should have done his red, his um, hat in red before I pulled it up. So I'm gonna do that first. And then when I do that, I'm gonna chalk the markers. And then that will make, since I'm gonna put it back down anyway, I'm gonna try that. And then that's gonna make this even easier. I'm going to show you what I mean because um, it's kind of important to do, I feel like. All right, so let me wash this guy off. I've got my little water bath over here. So I'm just washing him off super quick. We're going to dry him super quick with the hair dryer and put him back down again. Amber, where are you and Teresa from? Where do you girls live? Are you here in Orlando? Okay, I'm just washing him off. I'm making a mess, if you guys couldn't tell. Oh, Dallas area, all right. Cool. Welcome. Welcome to the Chalk Monster Boutique. I appreciate you guys joining tonight. Okay, I think I got him clean. So remember you guys, these transfers are reusable 10 to 15 times, okay? There's a silk, this is all silk screen. You can see that it's not, it, these are not vinyl cutouts. They're all silkscreen. Texas, welcome Texas. I'm gonna dry this off real quick. Yeah, so these just wash off with water. Everything washes off with water. It's awesome. Except for the ink. The ink is permanent, so it won't. If you get it on your clothes, on your hands, it washes off with water. Sticky 
upside down, and they'll stick to your counter. And you'll learn them when you pull them up. So lay them sticky side up. And then if you start to lose the stickiness after 10 to 15 times, Yeah, if they start to lose their stickiness after 10 to 15 times, then you just get a Clorox wipe and wipe the back side where it's sticky and that will reactivate the stickiness. Make sure he is good and dry and then we're going to chalk his the red part of his hat so Stacy says okay now I can respond lol it was so crazy love it oh that's funny Stacy I could tell you were watching but I didn't see you saying anything what are you doing tonight Stacy you chilling at home I got glitter everywhere Stacy okay so I'm putting this back down. This Now remember, this is exactly where we did the white before. I just forgot to chalk his red hat and I didn't do the markers. So we're gonna do that. You guys, you don't have to wash your transfers in between colors. I could have just peeled up the white, like just peeled up this part of it and put it back down again. That would have been faster, but I wasn't paying attention. I was so consumed with the glitter, I lost my head. Oops! It happens with glitter, you know? I think, um, I think there's something in glitter that makes you lose your head. Or your mind. Have you guys ever heard of that? I'm telling you. I think it's a real thing. Amber, do you know what I'm talking about since you're a glitter girl? All right, I've got my candy apple red paste. I'm almost out of it. I've got some more coming. I could see you, but I couldn't respond. Hanging at home, honey is hunting. Oh, what is he hunting? And where is he hunting? Is he like deer hunting? Somewhere in the south, like Alabama? Okay, I don't know if I was supposed to Oh, chalk that or not. Well, we shall see. Let's figure it out together. Yes, I used to do cups and lost my mind many times. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm talking about then, Amber, right? That is too funny. I was so worried about the glitter. Amber, what would you do on cups? How would you put glitter on them? Tell me more. I don't know if that's supposed to be red or not. I don't know. I'm looking at the picture and it doesn't tell me. I don't know, I don't know. All right, we're gonna try this, see what he looks like, and go from here. Obviously, this is the first time I have done this Santa. He's a new transfer from our um, winter, fall and winter catalog. He's new this year, and I have not done him before. I don't know if you guys can see me. I'm just trying to get up top here, close to the white, without getting it on the white. I think I did okay. So let's scoop it up. And see. You 
don't have to be super precise. I think I just got some red chalk on my white, but here again, let's, let's try it out, see how it goes. I've gotten pretty good at fixing mistakes. So if we made one, I think I can fix it. Do I do? It is not the end of the world. Okay. There we go. All right, let's see how this looks. Peel and reveal time. Voila! All right, I'm liking him. Oh, and I still didn't chalk my markers, so let's put him back down again and do that. You would think I would get the hang of this, right, eventually? Oh, you know what? We can't anyway. The markers are off the... Never mind. They were too high. They were off the board, so we couldn't have chalked them anyway. And you know what I just figured out, guys? So if I, I got a little red spot over here, if I couldn't have, if I couldn't fix it, then I could always just um, paint over this. Okay, so I'm missing some comments. Um, used to do cups, the glitter epoxy tumblers. Oh, I know what you're talking about. <gasps> cool, amazing glitter cups. That sounds awesome, Amber. I know what you're talking about. I will have to check them out. That's awesome. I know what you're talking about. Okay, so let's dry this. Let's dry his little red hat really quick. can't wait like I'm just impatient and how boring would it be for you guys just to watch chalk dry right oh yeah yes okay so I'm gonna tell you this glitter story now let's put this down first while I'm concentrating so we're gonna line this up I can at least line it up like right over his hat like the, the white pom-pom and the edge of his hat. So that's helpful. Okay, and I want it like on the edge of his beard so I can see that part. Yeah, it would be helpful if I could do the markers, but they just, they were too high. They ran off the ran off the edge because remember we um the surface is isn't like it's not as big as the board in the catalog that's okay it's just chalk we're gonna make it work it is not stressful all right let's see how this works and like i said if i hate it like if it looks really bad if you guys hate it then I could just paint over, I could just paint over it and do it again, right? I don't think that's gonna be necessary, but 
That's what we could do if we had to. All right, let's go for it and see what we think. Fingers crossed. Okay, so my target story. Now let me just look. Yeah, I think this is all gonna be black. I'm looking up a picture here. See, this is our picture of our Santa. So I think this is all black. Mm -hmm. All right, like I said, we're gonna go for it. See what happens. Ah. Okay, so years ago, tell me if you guys remember this, there was this Target commercial and I loved it. It was like a back to school commercial and it was about, um, I may have to go get my other black sitting behind me because this one's kind of dried up. And it was this um, teacher, I don't remember, what grade she taught. Um, I think she was Asian and she was talking about how much fun they were gonna have and let me get my other black behind me. They were talking about how much fun they were gonna have in school this year and all the school supplies they needed. And she was like listing off all the things they were gonna do and it was just gonna be so exciting. And they and the students needed glitter. So much glitter. And it was just, it was the funniest commercial, the way she said it. I mean, this and this and this and this and glitter. So much glitter. I loved it. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Or do you think I'm crazy? If you know what I'm talking about, give me some hearts or some thumbs up. If you don't know what I'm talking about, pretend. And give me, all right, I'm gonna need some water for these. Hold on, and grab my water bottle. These are so dry. All right, I got it. Okay, so you know what I'm talking about, or you're at least pretending. I love it. I love it, thank you. Okay, I got my water bottle, so I'm gonna add I'm gonna add a little bit of distilled water to this because remember, we want it to be the consistency of yogurt. Um, does the chalk paint tend to dry out quickly? Um, Amber, when it's in the jar like this and, the, um, and your lid is on it, then no. I wouldn't say it dries out quickly. Um, but if it gets a little too thick, because remember I said you want it to be the cons consistency of yogurt, if it gets a little thick, then all you do is add some distilled water to it, just like I did, and it um, it comes right back to the right consistency. So you can see it's all good now. Now when you're using it on your surface, it does dry quickly. Like you gotta, you, you don't have to rush, but you have to work fairly quickly because you don't want it to dry in your silk screen. Okay, if it dries in your silk screen, it's gonna look like you stuck your finger in it and smudged it. So what I like to do is put it down thick like this. Okay. And not not spread it out, not get it too thin, but keep it thick because if it's thick it's not going to dry out as quickly and it gives you more time to work. Okay. And, um, there's no waste. You don't have to worry about using too much because it all goes back in the jar. So it's okay. Looks like I need to order some more black paste. You guys, I've got an order coming. Um, what's today? Tuesday. I think it's coming. Friday or Monday and then another one coming in like a week. Okay. Here's my big squeegee. And what? Hmm. I don't know what I did with him. Alright, I'll just I'll use one of these. Okay. So now 
I'm just going to spread it out again, keeping it kind of thick, but I'm trying to cover. I want all of that white, or it's actually cream color, you can see through it. I want all of the silk screen covered. Now I don't need the green part covered, just the silk screen. And so with this, when you squeegee over it, you're pulling off the excess paste, but you're also pushing it through the silk screen onto your surface, okay? And as opposed to vinyl, vinyl can get, um, like it can bleed and be runny and messy. But these are not vinyl. They, like I said, they're silk screen. And so there's no weeding. You know, you don't have to cut them out. And because it's silk screen, you don't have to worry about bleed underneath. And you get like these really sharp, crisp, clear designs and that's what makes them so unique and that's what I love about it and they work beautifully with our chalk paste and our ink and you can use the I told you you can use these transfers 10 to 15 times you can also use them with our ink okay they can use it with chalk or ink it doesn't matter okay just goes in the water here we go are you guys ready Santa. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Wait till you see him. Oh my gosh, you guys. He is adorable. Okay, what do you think? Is he not so cute? What do you think? Hearts or thumbs up if you love him. <gasps> Thank you. I love him. Wow, love it. I may have to get him. Isn't he cute? Thanks, Stacy. Thanks, Amber. I know. I know. I've never done him before. But I really love his face on this color background, too. It'd be cute on a whiteboard, um, but I love it how his face, the color of his face and his lips stand out with this background. Isn't he adorable? I'm so excited. Okay, so let's dry him off. And what do you guys think about the glitter on his pom-pom? I think it works. All right, glitter girl, Amber, what do you think? Do you think the glitter on his pom-pom works? I'm thinking it does. Okay, let me dry him and then we will do, we'll do Joyful Christmas along the bottom. I don't know, do you guys still think I should do Joyful Christmas? Should I still do Joyful Christmas? Here, let me, let me hold it up. It looks great, leave him like that. Okay, that's what I'm thinking too, Amber. That's what I'm thinking too. Should I do like a holly berry off to the side, like over here, or should I just leave him? Holly berry, or he looks so real. Just add that to my order when I see you. No, I would just do the holly. Okay, Stacy, you got it. I will add it to your order, and I am just doing the holly. I agree. I think, um, I think just adding the holly here would be good. I'm afraid if I did Joyful Christmas over his beard, it would ruin it. Um, looks like you agree too, Amber. Okay. All right. So now, okay, this is another layered one. All right, so I think we do, let me cut these. I think we do the green first, or I mean the um, solid first. That's what we did with Santa on his beard. I do the Joyful I'm extra though. Okay. All right, Amber. Amber, I thought you were saying don't do the joyful. I think I'm gonna leave him for now and think about it. Leave it like that. All right. I think I'm gonna leave him like this for now, but I am gonna do the holly. 
All right, so here's our holly, and this one has the markers. Um, this one has the markers. Okay, so I'm fuzzing my holly really quick. So when I say that, you guys, I'm putting it on the cloth, on our fuzzing cloth, and peeling it back up again a couple times because new transfers are super sticky. Okay. So I gotta make sure I do the markers this time. It just makes it easier. Okay, so I've got our holly just like this. And I gotta get my green out. Uh, I wasn't planning on doing holly. So let me find my green. Really quick. Thank you guys for hanging with me. Am I frozen? I can't tell. You guys still with me? I'm not frozen, am I? Give me some thumbs up if you're still with me. I'm worried that I'm frozen. All right, I need, let me see if I have a darker green. Hold that thought. All right, I'm back. I'm looking, okay, so I'm good. Nope, I see you. Okay, perfect, perfect. I was afraid I was frozen. All right. This is Green Envy. I was just going to see if I have a darker green. I know I have some darker green coming in my next shipment that will arrive at the end of the week. This is Parakeet, and I think it's just too bright. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do green envy. Oops. Excuse me, y'all. Live TV, right? open up our new paste here. Okay. And I need a new stir stick. Guys, I got chalk paste all over me, all over everywhere. I have that dark glitter green that I think is seasonal. Yes. Um, Stacy, that would be perfect. I don't have that one. I think it's in my order that's coming. But oh my gosh, that would be perfect for Holly, wouldn't it? I totally think so. All right, sometimes when you guys open your paste for the first time, you hear kind of the snap, crackle, pop. Totally normal. It's just got some air bubbles in it and shipping. Just stir it up, and this is actually the perfect consistency. Yes, I love the hearts. Yeah, that, um, you gotta try that green with your Santa, Stacy. Perfect for holiday. All right, Stacy, I will order you a Santa, okay? And I think you're coming to my workshop on the 27th, right? But if you want him before then, um, just let me know and I'll get him to you. Yeah, the holly glitter would be perfect. Oh, you know what? I'll put some glitter on the holly. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm gonna get my glitter ready. Amber, you are rocking it, girl. My glitter girl, great idea. Great idea. Where is my green glitter? I hope I had green glitter. I guess I could always do... Oh, I got green. Sweet! Can't wait. Yes, I will be at the workshop. Okay. I will order it for you. Stay C in my next order. I will have it for you on the 27th. But if you need it before then, 
just let me know. I have the cutest delivery boy, my son. Um, I will have him deliver. Did you get your order, your order um, on Sunday, Stacy? Because he told me he delivered it. I'm hoping you did. Yeah, so I'll order it for you and I'll let you know when it's here in case you want it before the 27th. All right, so I just made sure that all of my holly was covered and squeegeed it all up. Now remember guys, don't add glitter until you pull the silk screen off. Don't put it in your silk, and don't put it on your transfer. Okay. Hey Grace, thanks for joining girl. Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of white to do my markers. I don't wanna use green because that's gonna be hard to get it off. So let's just use a touch of white. Grace, I can't wait to show you what I'm making. There we go. Perfect, perfect. And Grace, are you still coming over to tomorrow night? You and Anna? We're gonna chalk it up, right? Woohoo! Okay, I got my markers down. So cute. Yes, he dropped it off. And it was that color. Too bad I would have told you to use it. Oh, <laughs> that's okay, Stacey. I um it's coming. It's coming. I will use it the next time. Alright, so let's add a little bit of glitter. So much glitter. Love glitter. So excited for the holidays so we can use the glitter. I guess you can use it anytime, right, Amber? All right. Oh my gosh. It is so stinking cute, you guys. I need to blow it off a bit with the hair dryer. But look. Look how cute that's going to be. Grace, what do you think? We made Santa tonight. Is that not adorable? Adorable. All right, Grace, you may be commenting. I see some comments down here and I can't tell. So sorry if you are. Oh, I love the hearts. Glitter goes with everything. I know, doesn't it, Amber? For sure. It totally does. Thank you for the hearts too. All right, thanks for hanging with me guys. We are almost to the finish line. All right, so here's the outline. This is the outline of our holly. So I'm just fuzzing them up here real quick so you can see it. Okay. I'm loving it. Thank you, Stacy. I'm loving it too. This is awesome. I was a little nervous about doing Santa just because he's so big. Okay, here we go. Remember I told you about the markers? So that's where you can see them. They're in each corner. I don't know if you can tell. That's where these come into play. You know what, I'm gonna hit it with the hair dryer um, really quick because I'm nervous he's not dry yet. So let me, let me do that. I can't find my lid. Huh. Got to be right here somewhere. All right, I'm going to hit the holly with the hair dryer. So bear with me. It's super important when you're layering, guys, to make sure all of your layers are dry. trees. Yeah, if you guys don't know what Stacy's talking about, we have these cutout trees. Um, they are adorable. 
Okay, Grace, now I see your comments. You're coming over around six. Uh, Gail says, super cute. Grace says, love it. Yes, Grace, this is the board that I painted. Um, I didn't do it last night, but I did it on Sunday on my live. So it's just this board that I got at Lowe's and I haven't painted this side yet, but I'm going to, and I could chalk both sides, right? So it could be Christmas on one side, it could be Thanksgiving on the other, it could be Christmas on both sides. Yep, I mean, I think this was like five or six dollars at Lowe's. And then we have a really cute board um, in the catalog, it's an Odette board. That's what, that's what this is. So you could do it on what, what I'm doing and paint the background or you could do it on this Odette board and then you don't have to paint the background. And this is reusable. So when you're finished with it, you can wash off the chalk and then use it for Valentine's Day, Easter, summer, whatever, okay? So there's lots of different options, totally. Okay, for some reason, Grace, I can't multitask for watch parties. <laughs> hey, Crystal, thanks for joining, girl. I'm sorry, you guys, if I'm missing some of your comments. I'm only I'm seeing some of them on my phone and some of them on my camera here. So I apologize if I'm missing some, but I will go back and answer all your questions, I promise. Okay. Crystal, I've seen I've seen you doing some lives. I'm so excited for you, girl. That is awesome. You and the kiddos. You made some cute things. Hey, Crystal, I meant to text you. If you want to have a launch party, either on Facebook or like with real life people, I would love to come help you do that. So um, I will text you tomorrow and see if that's something you're interested in. And if it is, we can make a plan. And hey, if you guys want more information about doing what I do, which is get paid to craft and chalk, just let me know. You can hit hashtag info and I will send you more info. There's no pressure, no obligation, no big deal. Or if you just wanna be a crafter, you don't wanna sell, that's okay too. Totally cool, totally cool. You could just get the discount, which is awesome. It's like, it's 40% off. And, um, I'm having the hardest time lining this up. There we go. Yeah, and you could just make um, gifts for the holidays. You could sell the gifts or just give them away. Totally up to you. That's the cool thing about Chaka Tour is you could run your business however you want. And there's only two requirements. It's $19.99 a month for the transfer of the month and your website. And then, all right, I think I'm just gonna have to go with this. It may not be perfect, but it's gonna be awesome. And then $150 per quarter in sales. That's it. Those are the only two obligations. So if you're interested, um, just hit hashtag info and I can send you some more info. And if you guys are not in my VIP group, you want to be. I have a lot of deals and discounts and specials going on in my VIP group right now. Um, it's free to join, just hit hashtag VIP and I'm gonna be doing a lot more with the holidays coming up. So I would love to have you in there. Just hit hashtag VIP and I'll send you the invite. So cool, okay. Um, where is my little multi-tool? 
I'm going to use that for my holly berries. Okay. This is just black to outline my green leaves and the berries. Maybe I should have done the berries first. Probably. That's what I'm thinking. But you know what? We'll see how it goes. We will see how it goes. Oh my gosh, it's cute. I will admit, it is. All right, that's the outline of our holly berries. What do you think? Do you guys love them? How about some hearts and thumbs up? Show me some love, show me some love. All right, we got our holly berries left. Race, you can do this, don't you think? I know you can. You are crafty and creative. Crystal, how about you? Are you gonna try the Santa? He is super cute. Stacy's gonna try him. I'm excited. I got a yes from Grace. Woohoo! All right, I should have done. And there are my markers again, hoping to guide me. So that's cool. Yeah, I probably should have done the berries. first before the outline but I think it'll be okay okay and again I'm not pushing down really hard because I don't want it to pull up the paste I don't know what what did I do with that lid craziness going on all right Getting out my candy apple red. You guys, there is some shimmer red paste. That would be super cute. I've got it on order. Stacy, did you get the shimmer red? I was thinking you did. You got a ton of paste in your last order. I bet you got shimmer red. I just ordered some. Every time I order it, I sell it. <laughs> it's so popular. It's so popular for this time of year. Okay, here we go. Time for the berries. I'm gonna show you guys how we are done. There we go. Okay, the markers are meant for you guys to chalk so you can line everything up. And then because our paste is water soluble and removable, you just wipe it off. Okay, now if you're using this on fabric, you're not gonna wanna chalk the markers because you're gonna be using ink. And then that would be bad. Okay, this does not look horrible. It would be better, like I said. So when you do this, Stacy, whoever's gonna do this one, do the berries first, like do the black last on everything because it's the outline, okay? So it, it would be better if you do the black last. You got it and it's beautiful, yes. I bet it is, Stacey, I bet it is. I can't wait to use it. So my red berries kind of covered up the black outline, but that's okay. I'm gonna show you guys. So if you do this transfer, do your white and red and Blackout my last. 
should have done this. Okay. What do you guys think? I'm so excited. I think he's adorable. I love him and I love, see the holly? So you, could, you can kind of see, see the glitter. You know what? I'm gonna add some red glitter really quick. It may be too late, it may be dry. But I'm gonna try it. Thanks for the hearts. All right, let's see if that was too late. No, it wasn't. Oh, this looks even better. Look at the glitter on the berries and the mistletoe. Isn't that adorable? I think he is so cute. And so if I wanna make him permanent, you guys, I can just spray him with some acrylic Krylon spray, and that's probably what I'm gonna do, and make him permanent, and that will protect him. <gasps> Thanks, Stacy. That will protect him from getting scuffed up and scratched. I think he's pretty adorable. Anyone else love him? Give me some hearts. And then like I said, I can um, finish painting the other side and chalk something on this side. So yeah, this is Santa. He's actually called Joyful Christmas. So I'm gonna order him for you, Stacy. and if anyone else wants him or anything else you see tonight, just um, put it in the comments or message me or you can get it off my website, which is www.chalkcouture.com slash chalkmonsterboutique, okay? www.chalkcouture.com slash chalkmonsterboutique. That's where you can see all of our products. That's where you can join my team. You can join Clip Couture. You can see everything. And um, he is, if you want him, he's called Joyful Christmas. That's the name of this transfer, all right? Okay, you guys. Um, oh, I have some comments. Here we go, Grace. Okay, sorry, I missed you. I already have my first workshop participant. All right, now we just need to join and get organized. I love it, Grace. How come I can't see? Grace, I think, um, I'm not sure. I think, uh, I did a watch party tonight because I was having some Facebook challenges. So you may be in one group and some of the comments are on the other group. I am not sure. Not sure, Grace. Because I can see some of them on my iPad and I can see some of them on my phone down here. What are the items available for your October 27th workshop? Let me show you. I've got some photos over here. I will grab them. And I will show you guys. Okay, so Grace, when you come over tonight, or tomorrow night, we will get you all organized. Do you know what workshop you're gonna do? Oh, Stacy knows the answer. It's because they are in the watch party. That was my issue too. Okay, before I order him, we will talk, Stacy, for sure. I'll message you tomorrow. Or if you know what you're thinking, um, shoot me a message tonight, okay? If you know what you're thinking. Otherwise, I'll message you tomorrow. Okay, so you wanted to know for my October 27th workshop. Grace, I can't wait to hear that about your workshop participant. Okay, so October 27th, if you are local, you have a choice of baked fresh, okay? Hot coffee. These are the trees. They come, they are a set of three. Okay, they're wood cut out trees. So that is a choice. That's what Stacy's doing. Flying lessons, right? It's right before Halloween. And this would be perfect for Thanksgiving. Grateful hearts gather here. So if you are in my VIP group, you can see all of these options and pricing and um, respond if you are attending. I think I only have three spots left because I do limit it to eight. Um, so if you um, want to join that workshop, go to my VIP group, you'll see all the pricing and you can respond yes to the event. All right, so Stacy, let me know what you are thinking and um, about Santa and Joyful Christmas. And um, or I'll message you and Grace. I will see you tomorrow. I'm excited to hear about your workshop. Mwah. Love you guys. 
joyful Christmas. All right, see you soon. Come back and see me again tomorrow night, same time, same place, in the Chalk Monster Boutique. Love you guys. Bye.